9 giờ tối ở cô bé gần trời mà còn sáng. Giờ rồi, 9 giờ 55 rồi. 9 giờ 55 là 10 giờ tối. Wow. Trời vẫn còn sáng. Mà 3 giờ sáng trời lại sáng rồi, Cái sáng thôi 3 giờ sáng. Cho nên đêm rất là ngắn và ngày dài. Đây đèn trong phòng rất là romantic. Hằng đang coi uh, nghe truyện Cái phòng tắm cũng rất là đẹp, sạch sẽ Là cô bé gần cái, 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 cái xã này được sáng ngoài trời bắt đầu sáng rồi ở đây ban đêm chỉ có trời tối có 4 tiếng từ 11 giờ cho đến 3 tiếng đến 3 giờ sáng 3 giờ sáng bắt đầu sáng dậy giống như là năm sáu giờ cũng thường rồi cho nên đây đêm ngắn một ngày dài về trong phòng nhìn nhìn ra ngoài cái bàn cái lót của cái À, buổi sáng ngày 14 à, ngày tháng 6 ngày 14, thứ bảy à ở đây là trong phi trường Copenhagen ở đây rất là sang nhưng mà thiên hạ đi hai tách hơn ở Mỹ toàn là check in bằng máy không à. giờ mình đến cái chỗ arrival để mà chờ xe nó pick cấp bus transfer từ Airport to the ship. Everybody check in. Get the one bus. We are the first people on the bus. First, first bus. Okay. Um Don't you worry, this is a very uh, harmless place, but I will please ask you to wear your seatbelts, uh, not only for safety, but also because if we get stopped by the police... All Americans? No? no. no. Okay, we have people from elsewhere? Where? Yes, Canada. Canada? Okay. Mm, okay, I, have a, I will have to Google something, but I wanted to tell you this to Americans. Denmark is a very little country. It's roughly the size of Maryland. Turn it down, it's too loud. Now, let too me... Loud. <laughs> too loud? <laughs> How is it now? Uh, yeah, sorry about that. Uh, then I will Google a uh, state of... Um, yeah, okay. <laughs> very well. Denmark is a very small country, uh, roughly the size of Maryland. We are uh, also six million people living here. Uh, but even though being a very very small country, it's uh, one of the oldest kingdoms of uh, Europe. It's the oldest of Europe, actually, second oldest of the world. And there are uh, lots of things to see in Denmark, uh, which has a huge history and big things, like, for instance, being uh, creators of Lego, being the creators of the first um, amusement part of the world, also inspiring uh, Disney World. Uh, there's a very long uh, story in this very tiny country. We have only uh, one continental part, uh, well of course, it's a continental part uh, that limits with Germany, the north of Germany with Denmark starts, and then the rest is uh, more than 400 islands. This one is a very big island called Schieland, where the capital lies on, and then a bunch of very tiny islands. We also have two overseas uh, regions that are Greenland and Faroe Island. And in the past, uh, the Danish Kingdom was also um, uh, owner, let's say, of uh, Norway and Sweden, uh, which are nowadays independent. 
We have a very interesting combination that you will see in the city, a uh, mixture between old and new. Denmark is uh, capital of architecture and design of Europe. Uh, you will see very modern architecture, but we also have uh, uh, it's it's very well mixed with the with the old. Uh, urbanistically, this this place is a wonder. Uh, I am an architect, so I will maybe do a, a little architectural tour for you. Um, but let me tell you some uh, fun facts and uh, interesting things w which Denmark is famous for. Uh, first of all, good welfare and good life. Uh, Denmark is uh, always top one or top two least corrupt country of the world. Mm -hmm. uh, and top one, top two happiest countries in the world. This is, uh, believe it or not, because we pay high taxes. Danes pay their taxes uh, happily because when you don't have corruption, you see them coming back. So it's a country famous for a good welfare, very little difference uh, between the rich and the poor. Uh, we have things like uh, full year maternity cover, uh, college students get 900 euros per month, so you get paid for, for studying, uh, a lot of social care, free health, um, social housing and then you of course see all these return as well in the uh, infrastructure so these are happy to pay their taxes I would I never thought I would say this but I am happy to <laughs> but just for your knowledge we pay between uh, 35 and 40 percent of our salaries and then the more you earn the more you pay of course uh, Denmark is also famous for uh, bicycle culture. You will see that uh, everyone uses bicycle here. Uh, the further we, the, the, the inner we get into the city, you will see more and more bikes. Uh, life in Copenhagen is very healthy. Um, we move around 50% of the people choose the bike over other transports. It is also a very safe place. Um, therefore, I think the only um, fear you could have is being run by a bicycle. <laughs> <laughs> is it true that um, bicycles have right-of-way over pedestrians? Yes, uh, it is true that bicycles have right-of-way over pedestrians. So it's the priority is the bicycle and then the rest. Uh, therefore, uh, my only advice always is like, look both sides, uh, not to get run by a bicycle and then be free. <laughs> So we are gaining uh, terrain over the sea over the years. We are constantly building and building more uh, more islands to live, to populate. Um, this is also a very flat country, so uh, we either do that or we will get drowned in the future. Um, so right now uh, the Danish uh, situation is very prosperous and we are able to build and solve uh, housing problems but as many other European countries we have always had uh, uh, housing problems so uh, around 300 years ago Denmark started to gain terrain over the seas so even though we have nowadays 442 islands maybe in two or three years this is 443, 444 and so on residence this uh, makes it to have a uh, very low cities and this is something that happens in many European cities either uh, castles or sometimes churches like in Rome uh, nothing can be taller than the St. Peter's Church um, and uh, from the point of, uh, of view from an urbanist uh, I think this generates um, very good um, organization of people when you grow too high it's harder to be more organized. Therefore, uh, in Denmark, we are very well distributed, I would say, which makes uh, life easier. 
Uh, also, there is a very good intervention of the government, um, making that uh, a, a very good relationship between the green and the housing. So, by law, you cannot have a house that is more than 15 minutes away walking from a park. In many parts of the city as well, uh, every window from your house needs to have a view to a tree. So the whole uh, country, actually, it's uh, very green. There's a very, very good mixture between the green and the architecture. <laughs> Especially this time of the year. Uh, yeah, this is a very important thing. Uh, we always talk about weather because weather it's uh, a thing <laughs> it, it's, the, it's the main thing yeah so for instance we have a relationship in the solstices of uh, 20 hours of sun and four hours of night in summer but then in winter we have 20 hours of darkness and only four hours of sun uh, so we are always talking about weather especially in a country that is also so flat that it's uh, very cloudy and misty uh, so it's like we would be in the middle of the sea and just clouds move all along so we never have more than 20 days of sun for instance uh, how hot does it get it's um the, i've been here for three years the highest i've had is 32 but that's not common i would say an average is 22, 23, 24, maybe growing a little bit with global warming, but yeah. Uh, Celsius, yeah, sorry. In no more than 15 minutes. Up to 40 minutes riding, it's faster to go by bike than by metro. After 40, it's more convenient to go by metro. But in 40 minutes, you can go from one side to the, uh, of the city to the other and come back. The buildings, you may see one of the, the, the main canal. Uh, so the city is uh, crossed by canals, a little bit like Venezia, let's say. And these are not uh, sweet waters, this is salt, this is sea, actually. So what happens is that uh, we don't dig canals. What we do is that when we build a new island, we just uh, build it very close to the other one, and therefore we create a canal. How do you build an island? Well, yeah, you drag a lot of uh, terrain from the sea, and then you build, you build over it, yeah. We are now entering the center of the city. In here, we will start seeing more traditional and old buildings. Um, unfortunately, one of those buildings was burned in April. Uh, the stock house, uh, the, was, which was the second oldest stock house of the world, and the first oldest building of a stock house in the world, it was uh, completely burned in April. Yeah, I think we got we could save 20% or something like that. We will see the former uh, castle, royal castle, and it's the former one because it was burned three times. And after the third time, royalty decided to move to another. Okay, in here we will see two things. To our left, we will have the uh, central station and to our right, after this building in the next square, we are going to have Tivoli Gardens, which is the amusement park we have in the middle of the city. So to your right, Tivoli Gardens right now. Yeah, I'm going to go to the hotel. I'm going to go to the hotel. 